The UK is opening its doors to the world's top graduates. High achieving students from the world's best universities are to be given two year visas to work in the UK. Or at least that's the government's plan. In reality, the backlog of the UK passport office is so severe that by the time international graduates receive their visas, they'll probably have reached the age of retirement. And of course, it's a fairly useless initiative generally, because why in God name would the world's best graduates want to come and work in Britain? Would they be enticed by our grossly dysfunctional transport infrastructure perhaps? Or our terrible weather? Our horrifically high taxes? Or our shortage of housing? Our insane petrol prices? Or perhaps they'll be tempted to come here for our wonderful National Health Service? Free healthcare at the point of delivery if you can get an appointment, which you can't. Perhaps they'll be attracted by our wonderful democratic system where the majority consistently vote for conservatism but somehow end up with a deeply socialist government anyway. Still, fair play to Boris and his team. Fantastic idea to try and attract the world's top graduates to this country. I mean, heaven forbid our government put measures in place to effectively educate the children of our native population. Heaven forbid the government set up decent accessible apprenticeship schemes for trainee plumbers and electricians. Heaven forbid our government incentivise the children of this country to study medicine or STEM subjects at university. Heaven forbid this country starts turning its children into engineers, tech experts, and pharmacists rather than pushing them all into 10 grand a year sociology degrees so that our academic institutions keep churning out furious race and gender obsessed little communists intent on transforming and policing the language we all use and creating conflict where there is none back to the drawing board Boris and best of luck at the next election